A Central Arkansas nonprofit is working to help neglected and injured cats. I feel like Arkansas, even though they have laws here, they're not strict enough. The organization says it's hoping to bring awareness to what they're calling an ongoing situation, cats suffering from abuse. Tylisa Hampton joins us from Sherwood. And Tylisa, how many cats are we talking about? Yeah, the community cats of Central Arkansas say so far this year they have rescued at least 400 neglected cats, just like this little guy in my arms right here. You can see a couple more cats over there now. Organizers, a part of the nonprofit, tell me they're seeing more and more cases of abuse, something that they're hoping state leaders will address. It's a meow that didn't always sound healthy. Each cat in this room has walked a similar path. Before we did rescue several years ago, I would have never known that this many animals were neglected and injured. It's something Sarah Richardson with the Community Cats of Central Arkansas says is becoming an ongoing problem. We, on a pretty consistent basis, get in cats and kittens who are from neglect cases. So far, they've rescued 400 cats this year. But Richardson says not every cat they're able to save. Like these two cats, the first called in from Conway and the second called in from Jacksonville, both suffering gunshot wounds. We picked off over 50 buckshots off of the cat's fur. We went straight to the vet. The cat had been shot in the back end. The second one happened a few days later. It was a little 12 ounce kitten. It was shot in the front left leg area. Richardson says both cats died from their injuries, wounds they see often. Purposely burned or gasoline. We've had a few other gunshots. Others so badly neglected, they've lost their eyes. We're definitely seeing them in areas Areas that are outside of city limits a lot more where there really is no shelter. Wanting to give new lives to as many abused and neglected kittens as possible. Richardson believes more needs to be done from the state. We feel like Arkansas, even though they have laws here, they're not strict enough on animal abuse and animal neglect cases, so I think we need to still push for harsher punishment for things like that. Now, in cases of abuse, the organization says they really need for community members to say something if they do see something. And if you would like to foster or adopt, you can go to our website. Reporting in Sherwood, I'm Talisa Hampton. Back to you.